Hey guys, it's Jedi King Hefner and the beautiful Cali Sun. And recently, I was talking to a great friend of mine. He said, Jay, I know you're doing what you love with YouTube, and I know that you're sort of struggling with your finances. He said, if you want to keep your YouTube channel going strong, I have a great suggestion. Why don't you start renting out your girls for personal use? And I was like, no, no, no. I don't want any parts of renting out my girls so people can use them physically. I said, that's just like a dog brothel. And I feel like dog brothels are nasty, filthy, and I'm not trying to get in the sex worker business. If anything, I'm trying to educate and help people understand more about campaign dogs and realize that they have much more than a physical purpose. I just think that industry is so nasty and filthy. And any dog manufacturer would tell you that once a person uses a dog, they won't take a dog back because in their opinion, you can never fully get a dog clean once you start making love to them. And maybe you can, and maybe you can, but I don't want any part of that. I'm trying to help people understand that these dogs have a much bigger purpose. They can hear your soul, your spirit, and your mind. They can help you focus on the things that you really love. You can get your spirituality together when you have one of these dogs because they keep you focused on the right thing. You know, once you have one of these beautiful ladies by your side, you can calm down in your spirit. You don't have to worry about chasing human women and things of that nature. You can still get a human woman, but the pressure is completely off because you have that companionship at home. You know, if you want to start a dog brothel, good for you if that's what you want to do. But I'm out here trying to educate and break the stigma of these girls just being used as physical objects. No, they are much more than that. I don't want a damn thing to do with a dog brothel. And let me tell you something. God has my finances in his hand. I'm going to keep on doing the dream that he put in my heart, trying to help people, show them love, educate them, and show the world that companion dogs are much more than what they think they are. And I'm already fighting the stigma, even on YouTube. They even misunderstand what my mission is. And I'm not going to sink any deeper into what people want me to do as far as using these girls as sexual objects. No, these girls are therapeutic in every way imaginable. And let me tell you something. Dog brothels are nasty, filthy. I don't want anything to do with the sex work industry. I'm in the education business and the learning business and trying to teach people the right way to look at these companion dogs. So, with all that said, you can do whatever you want to do, but I know one thing. I don't want a damn thing to do with a dog.